Hey, and welcome back. Well, that was loud. Hey, to Bruce, the big huge nerd place. Let's get out of here. The big huge nerd place. Hey, what's the hurry? Ellen Noir. This is episode nine. What time do you get off the I think. You ought to meet Joe's Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. You drive. -o. You're behind the wheel. Thank you very much. And where exactly are we going? Thank you very much. I should probably drive myself, but, helps you get a day. but my I like to talk and not get hit. And I feel like Rusty's... Why is, <laughs> why is he backing up? What's going on? Over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, you picked the What's wrong that? job of a healthy thirst of vengeance. We owe it to this city. The Rockstar Social Club sucks. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always hey, the politician. It's not I really, really it's should practical. drive because Maybe he the sucks. Men He's terrible. Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues Who's, that would have led to her. Did I investigate yeah, well, Elizabeth if only Short? You'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive. The Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in Minor solving. syntactical error, as the, the drink robot drink would say. Down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Yeah, I'm a good boy. That's what I do. I, I boy good. Those are words. The Brown Derby, that's a place? That sounds like a, a terrible place. This looks like a boring home. Very boring home. As always, we will check out the walls first. You got some crap there. You got a faucet here. I can't do anything with the... Is it called a faucet? I think it's a faucet. The popcorn? We got some garbage here, man. Yeah, this is something. I'm telling you, that was a short door. It's a very short door. Short? Is it called short? Low door? Small door? Ho door? Can I look through your trash? Can I look through your trash? Hey, don't mind me, I'm a policeman. There's nothing interesting around the there around the house. Don't look at me, I'm a policeman. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. That's what uh, she said, I think. Yeah, yeah, no definitely. He was in the army, so he's got Oh, oh broken into. I was broken in. Did you... Did you knock first? You tried knocking? Open sashimi. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Creeped the joint. Hey, a newspaper. Family burned to death. Cops say house fire deaths are suspicious. Yeah, I, I said that. Is there a story behind that? Isn't this isn't the story just basically me saying? Said I had to go back, doctor. Bye, Move to bye. Allow you to confront your past. You said the house Is he clean empty. shaven or does he have like Are penciled in mustache? I have prescribed? Like uh You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. No, it doesn't. The circumstances were unfortunate. You. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. Yeah, he lied. You're killing me. No, he's killing yes, other people. Unfortunate. But you have dealt Why does he do this? Before. I don't remember. Why does this? You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? Oh, he hung up on me. I don't know why he hung up on me. Hmm. You seem distraught for a person who's driven other people to murder. There's a newspaper. 
Is that a pizza? That is not a pizza. There are no clues here. There's a single clue here. All right, a shoe. A shoe? Size nines, above average for a lady. Hmm, but about average for a man who likes to dress up in women's clothing. Probably gonna. The, the game's probably gonna tackle that super. Super duper respectfully. Because this is the 40s, by the way. This is. A bowl! No, it's a bowl. You should know that. You're an adult. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door? <laughs> you think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty dollar suit? A thirty dollar suit? Coming, Buster. A thirty dollar suit, Rusty. There's a note here. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment two. Jacob. Jacob are obviously Jacob? problems. It speaks to motive. So Celine was the drunkard. Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. See, that's the forties. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Is that all? Go take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. You, you. You're an alcoholic and you just complained about the woman being, the, the Celine being an alcoholic? You should be respectful. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, there's a, a, a ring box, <laughs> truly case. The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Did someone come looking for the ring? So she was a pilot? A regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinct. That's a very distinct ring. Yeah, you're correct about that. A hairbrush. Does it match? But there was a hairbrush at the scene, dude. How is that circumstantial? How? Tell me! I think I've checked out most everything. But as always, I'm gonna keep looking. Keep looking. Can I play the piano? Piano? Okay, so talk to the neighbors. There's a lot of booze there. Hey, I wanna talk to you. Look at me jump. Hurdle! Halt. Stomp. Hi, friend. Knew it wasn't safe. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Jennifer Horgan. 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 I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. Why are you mad at me? What's going on, officer? Did you see? Oh, I was Henry bad acting. Last night? Well, I'm no busybody. You understand? You are a busybody. Come on. Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. You sound like a Jacob person. Jacob given her a black eye. He I don't out like. and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. Yeah. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? No, she's an alcoholic. I'm Mrs. Henry has been murdered. Now. All right. Uh, also that. Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. In the car? You over actor. That's a terrible parking job. Just wanted to say that. So I hear someone someone Oh, I'm into a sprint. Okay. So I left the area I wanna be in. Neighbors on the other side. Look at me hurdle, yo! Championship hurdler. Cold psychopath helps. Oh, well, that was terrible, but cleared it. So who lives here? Come and knock on my door. 
He's standing very close to the door. Very, very close. Can someone please open this door? No? You sure about that? Back door? No? Seriously, why can I knock on that door? Is there a particular reason for it? Open the door! Who lives here? Someone ought to take him home. Shut up. Well, no one opened that door. And the windows are not see-through, so I'm guessing n no. Can I just talk to random people? You there. Talk to me. Are you drunk, mister, or are you just cracked? I'm a policeman. Grown men playing at being boys. So we're gonna drive ourselves this time. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Yeah, no, he's not our man. <clears throat> I can tell you that. Tell, tell ya that. Tell ya. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps that. I have priority. The probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in and keep the hats off her back for a while. Fine by me. Am I supposed so to call someone? After all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I think I should call I someone. Said work Apparently. Evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. I'm gonna check if there's concern, someone to call. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm too, too busy. I'm not sure what I'm calling for. I'm calling to hear the sound of the only person who understands me. Robot lady on the telephone. Alright, two boy. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Please. Thank you. He is a robot. That's not. Yes. Hi there. That sure is me. Well, the weather outside is frightening. Someone, please. Someone, please. Please what? Please what? Or are you just being polite? Someone, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day. I am muy importante. Por favor. We're just gonna drive over here. Oh. Well, I didn't see that there was a polygon there. But you know, you get what you get. Okay, Phelps. Am I in. in my lead. Oh, we go in with guns blazing, dude. Oh my god. But super slow. I feel like the guns are. Okay. Unnecessary. Okay, Henry? Yeah. <laughs> He's calm Got for a guy who's got murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? <laughs> Celine? Yeah, who's asking? Oh, oh my god. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's, We're gonna have a look around. Uh, then we'll talk. Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what are you sorry for for murdering your wife? Hmm, you're incriminating yourself, Jacob. <laughs> I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight. Everything here is going to be wrong. That is relevant though, but not to solving the case. Well, kind of. It builds uh, uh, like a, a, a character type thing. Alright, I remember this. I actually remember this. All right, okay, so I don't have to actually... Uh, let's do this then. Oh, I missed. <laughs> See, this magic. Needs you to do something about my wife. Who are we? The oldest problem there is. What to do about the old lady? What? What? The fuck does that mean? 
Seriously. What does that mean? Oh, his shoes. They are not a size 8. 11. Size 11. Hmm. Hmm. That's pertinent to the case. The hat is not pertinent to the case, I think. Unless I want a spare. What's in here then? Nothing. Nothing. Go. It's a baseball bat, just on the floor. This seems irrelevant. It seems irrelevant. Blunt force trauma to the face. You got a baseball bat? How is that not relevant? Please tell me. Please tell me. I think we are actually going to cut the episode right here just before we talk to the man in case it takes a long time. Thank you for watching. This has been episode 9, I think. I'm Bruce, the Big Huge Nerd. I've been playing L.A. Noir, and I will keep playing L.A. Noir. Forever, apparently. Forever. Until the end of days. Until the skies burn up and the moon turns to oranges. I was about to say cheese, but I tricked you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye then.